Hey everyone, we're Dudes Reviews and this is the Maggie and Flip Show. We're here to do reviews on TV shows and movies and today's review is on Moana. Moana came out back in 2016 and IMDb gave it a score of 7.6 and bad. Rotten Tomatoes 96%. Unbelievable. Which is thoroughly worth it because it's an awesome movie. And now Max is going to do a very quick synopsis. So this film is about a girl going on self-discovery, following her heart, following her gut and realising that in doing so she actually may end up saving her village. Yeah. Even though... <laughs> yes, even though... <laughs> It's forbidden! Yeah, ah! it's naughty. And Auli He Cravalio is the main person in this movie. She plays Moana, main actor. We've also got Dwayne Johnson, who plays uh, Maui. Maui. Yeah, Maui, one of the main of characters as well. We've also got Alan Tudyk, who plays Hee Hee, or Hey Hey, who Hee. is the chicken, not a duck. Chicken. I thought he was a duck, he's actually a chicken. And we've got Nicole Scherzinger, who plays Sina, I believe it's pronounced. Nicole Scherzinger, Pussycat Dolls, we all know for that. Exactly and X Actor Judge. Judge. Yeah. Alan Tudyk, most notably Firefly, absolutely awesome program. Watch it if you haven't. Uh, Dwayne Rock Johnson recently has been in Baywatch, Fast and Furious, and of course WWE. Um, the time, the World Heavyweight Champion. <laughs> and Rampage. Rampage. In cinema. Well. <laughs> and uh, Auli He Cravalio. We didn't know who she was before this movie. She hasn't been in anything else, to our knowledge. However, she has just started in a new TV series in America called Rise. So if you do like her, I want to check her out. Go watch Rise. I'll become an actor. I'll become an actor. Now, I already say behind every TV show and every movie, there's a meaning behind it. And I think the meaning of this one is don't let people hold you back. Follow your heart, follow your instincts, and realise that you want to find and forge your own path. Mm. And this is, I think this is what it's all about. Yeah, this, this movie is literally about that. It's a movie about self-discovery, forging your own path, finding out who you are. And uh, I'm going to go straight in the deep end and say it. I think this is my favourite Disney movie. Of all time. What did you Exactly. Just say? <laughs> there's a lot of Disney movies, there's a lot of really good Disney movies, but to me, this just edges it. The whole. It just, it's just so good, the adventure. You feel like you're on the adventure. I know it's really cheesy to say it, but the whole yeah. movie, you're engrossed in it, and it's 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 simple, it's funny, and you. It encapsulates you. There's humour throughout, it's silly, and it's brilliant. I absolutely love it. Yeah. Now, I would say there's always two sides of the coin, and I am. The good side, the bad side. <laughs> The ugly side, the handsome side. Opinions. <laughs> but I would be that other side. Like, I watched it once or twice. I wasn't really overwhelmed. I kind of, like, I looked at it and I was like, for all the hype and all the other stuff. Now, I'm one of these people that I don't really like following hype. But yeah. I'd, I'd always watch it. I'd always suck on something. Like, Frozen came out. Everyone was like, it's amazing. Because it is. And I was like, well, it was all right. And then I grew <laughs> to like it. Now, with this one, it had an amazing loads of hype about it. And that first I was like, nah, it's not that great. But I'm sure I might grow to like it. Yeah, definitely you will. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. But there are some redeeming factors. Now, first of all, killer coconuts. Killer coconuts. What this. could go wrong with killer coconuts? All, all yeah. I need to say is <laughs> killer coconuts. Killer Enough. coconuts. <laughs> Little arms, little legs. <laughs> Coming at you. Like Mike Goodman. <laughs> but honestly, it was so funny. Like, I saw this and I was like, that is stupid. Yeah. But it's amazing. It is stupid. Like, it is funny. It's killer yeah. coconuts. Like, it's so mad. <laughs> like, who thinks of that? And thinks, yeah, that will work. <laughs> it's meant to be serious. <laughs> it's killer it scares a god. That's how much it is. It's coconut scares a god. I mean, talking about this demigod yeah. it has got Dwayne the Rock Johnson now what can this man not do like, he can honestly, do everything he, he, he makes us look like schmucks yeah everyone just looks <laughs> inferior to Dwayne Johnson Hell. Yeah. As, soon, as soon as I heard that he was in this movie and he was singing I was like brilliant here we go Here's, it's going to be another Pierce Brosnan Mamma Mia take my singing. money I want to see this <laughs> but he was absolutely awesome I mean I absolutely loved The Rock like since watching this as well just got so much respect for him but he does it so well uh, and you think he's going to be bad but he actually sings perfectly and his songs yeah, are brilliant and he actually even looks a bit like Maui himself like really big tattoos other than his shiny bald head only he's bald <laughs> and Maui has luscious locks <laughs> but yeah the, uh, big fan of The Rock uh, if you haven't seen it definitely watch it for The Rock it's awesome. yeah so definitely I didn't have this guy's enthusiasm yeah. but I I more or less watched it and kind of like listen to dialogue listen to other stuff and I did like one thing they say which is a bit sly a bit funny at the same time is hey you're a girl with an animal of course you're a princess yeah. and I was like Damn, he's onto something yeah. here. Like, thinking about Mulan, Tangled. Yeah. May I list other films? Other it's Disney more or less like is. the same thing having a always dig happening. It itself. <laughs> it's having a dig at itself, but I like stuff like that because yeah. that's what makes me actually enjoy a movie yeah. more by having like a little bit of a 
Funny banter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and along with this funny banter and stupidity and digging at itself at <laughs> Disney movies, it's actually got a really, I mean, the whole movie's based on like, it's a real, like, based on real people in real, yeah. like, previous cultures. And it's got a lot of roots in Polynesian mythology, I believe it is. Like, Maui's a Polynesian god. And everybody watched everyone, this everyone, movie because they want to learn about Everyone loves this. Polynesian gods. Like, that's clearly not the first time <laughs> exactly. I've heard this. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, it actually brings, like, this, like, indigenous people, their story, like, to life, really. And, like, I didn't know anything about these people before. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of people didn't, but, you know, through this movie, it was given a lot of light, and now... Well, everyone, everyone loves it. Yeah, and now you can watch and now movies. now you can learn about Polynesian gods. And learn at the same time. Yeah. Now, what can we The say? two favourite things, <laughs> learning and watching movies. Everybody wants to really. <laughs> now, I'm not one of these people that loves this movie, but I will enjoy it, and I did enjoy watching this. And, and in fact, it's better than I thought it was at times. Mm. But then I'm like, I still will probably grow to like it. Yeah. I'm not up there. You're, now, my, you're boring, critical thinking, yeah, Capon. Lame. Uh -huh. I'm one of these people that, like, Top tier. Someone says top tier movies. I'm thinking Hercules. I'm thinking I'm Mulan. Talking Mulan. I'm, I'm talking Hercules. I'm talking Tango. <laughs> now for them, <coughs> 22 Jump Street. <laughs> <laughs> for them, they are incredible movies. Like mm. they are when I think about top tier movies. Yeah. Now I'm not on the same view as some of you are, but like, it's yeah. it's, it's good. Well, he's <laughs> wrong, I'm right. It's better than all of them. No, no, they're obviously Mulan Hercules, they're everyone's favourites. We grew up with them, but yeah, to me, Moana just edges it. Partly down because of the music. The music is awesome. The soundtrack, which I believe was written by a guy called Lin-Manuel Miranda, who I believe is quite famous. Uh, he wrote all the songs for it, and Dwayne The Rock Johnson performed my favourite one. It's called You're Welcome. It is brilliant. Even if you don't watch the movie, listen to the soundtracks. It's funny, it'll make you laugh, and it's just... Hilarious and yeah. rock sings and it's awesome. Yeah, so what you need to do is watch this and you can have a pick a side. Yeah, man. <laughs> the good side. <laughs> the dark side. The light side. I mean, oh, is it God. black? <laughs> Not right, of course. Oh, I'm here. <laughs> but anyway, we've been Digit Views <clears throat> and this was Moana. Leave a like and subscribe. And if you do watch it, let us know what you think in the comments below. And what else can I say except you're welcome? Arrivederci. <laughs>